Hello ladies and gentlemen, just want to do a very, very quick video to show you some of the um, settings that I'm using in Farming Simulator 25, some of the custom settings that I'm using by editing the game XML file uh, in obviously my documents folder, my save folder, um, primarily to increase my uh, graphical performance, uh, not performance, but graphical fidelity, make the game look a little bit better on PC. So obviously, much like in Farming Simulator 22, you can manually increase the distance, the, the values for your view distances and things, which just help give you better visuals at longer distance, you know? Obviously, it does come at a little bit of a performance hit if you are, you know, on a weak machine or a lower spec machine. I, thankfully, am running a fairly decent PC. So at the moment, I can pretty much push these values for view distance, log distance and foliage distance. Another thing that I have added, which isn't in the XML, is this line here. Depth of field, false. This line of code, very, very useful. Turns off that blurriness in the distance. You know, the mountains and trees and things like that over in the distance, the, the, the map border. It's all blurry and horrible looking. Add this line of code to your game.xml file. Clears that all up. I don't like games that... I don't like... I always, you know, in PC games, I always turn off depth of field. And I don't know why Giants hides this option from the game menu. But you can you can activate it by using... Um, by putting this line of code into your XML file. Which disables the depth of field. So all your map looks crisp, sharp and clear. Also, at the bottom here, we have development controls. By default, that will be set to false. Turn that on. That enables the uh, console, obviously, in-game, um, which is obviously something we've done in FS22, FS19, FS17. So those are my changes. Otherwise, it's pretty much ultra, ultra spec. Obviously, for my um, 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 my my PC. Now, the other thing, once you finish with that, that also works in FS22. If we go to your game shortcut, wherever you've got your shortcut, desktop, wherever, right click on it, go to properties to bring up this lovely little window. In the target line, if you add the dash cheats space dash skip start videos option which you may recall if we open up steam this works for steam as well but obviously at the moment i have got the giants version of the game um so i've had to do it to the uh, game executable but you will remember this from um FS, again, FS22. I did a video on it for FS22. If we go to Farm Sim, go to Properties, Launch Options, there's a better view of it. Dash Cheat Space Dash Skip Start Videos. And by doing that, what happens is when you double click the Farming Simulator 25 to launch into the game, what will happen is instead of getting all the boring logos and um, trailers and you know videos <laughs> it bypasses that and brings you straight to the main menu a little bit quicker a little bit easier saves you a few few minute a few seconds a few seconds of your life each time you launch farm sim which obviously over the course of a game's life cycle will probably save you a couple of hours <laughs> but yes i just wanted to do a quick video to put this out there for you guys because i know people are going to be asking how we do things how we change make our graphics better on pc how how we enable the um 
the dev console and and enable the cheats um, for people who want to use dev commands in game. Again, particularly useful for content creators at this time. Um, but other players obviously might use things. So yeah, make sure you copy and paste that onto the end of your um, target, wherever your shot again. Just create a shortcut to the farm simulator 25 executable. Add those lines and um, you're good to go, ladies and gents. Um, also, happy to inform people as well that this year, when you add the um, cheats command uh, to your thing, your character doesn't move around in game like the Flash. He still walks and runs at normal speed. So that's very cool. Very cool. Anyway, I'll be back with some more helpful Farming Simulator 25 tips and tricks very soon. But for now, from me, Siwari, take care of yourselves, everybody. Stay safe and cheerio.